hi guys coming up today here is how to make this beautiful reversible jacket you can see on the screen so if you would love to see how i made this within 30 minutes sit back and we will be right back welcome back to eco designs to feel youtube channel in today's tutorial you are going to be learning how to make um, a waterfall jacket it is very simple elegant and very easy to make as you can see on top of the table we have um, all the materials we are going to be needing for this tutorial okay so if you are new here my name is chiwendu and here on this channel i upload sewing tutorials every week and i create content around um fashion sewing and diy so if this is what you are interested in please make sure to click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so as to get notified once i upload any new video so on top of the table you can see two different types of fabric this um waterfall jacket is going to be a reversible um waterfall jacket meaning that you can wear this both ways okay that's why we are making use of different materials you can actually make use of a lining that is to say you are not going to make that a reversible jacket you can actually draft this on your fabric your main fabric okay but to make this um, tutorial not to be too long we are going to be using a dress pattern okay which you can see on top of the table. For the front, I'm not going to be making use of these darts, but for the back um, block, you're going to be inserting that, okay? And let me quickly explain this um, dress um, pattern. So for the front neckline, I'll be making use of three, um, three inches depth and three inches um, width, uh, meaning that for the back neck, I'll be making use of same three inches um width with um one inch depth okay and the armhole i'm going to be um using the same but every other part of this um, dress is going to be the same aside the neck and for the that which i'm not going to be inputting on the front block okay so the length of this dress is to the knee length okay what i will do is to fold my fabric into okay i'll be cutting out both front and um, back for this particular um, piece and again i'll be cutting out both front and back for this other one meaning that one would be for the lining and one would be for the main um dress okay now let's get started i'll be folding my fabric and first off i'll cut out the back for this And then I'll place my dress pattern on top. Okay. So to be able to know the amount of fabric we, which you are going to be using. Because here I have two and a half yards of fabric. Okay. Your highest measurement divided by four plus your sewing allowance. Okay. So let's say you could add up uh, two inches, three inches, depending on what you want. Now fold your fabric in two. All right. And then we start cutting now. Remember that for this pattern, I've already added my um, seam allowance. Okay. The only thing that is not on this um, pattern now, because this is the front pattern, is just this that intake, which I'm going to be adding up right now. Okay. I believe you understand what I'm trying to do. Okay. So for this that, I've already added the, the one inch for the seam allowance so what i'm going to add up here is the dart which i took out okay so what i will do next is to connect this from here down to the hip from this point i'm going to be coming down by one inch which is to create my back neck depth okay 
and then I'll connect. And please remember to add up your shoulder seam allowance because I don't have it on this pattern. Okay. So for my shoulder seam allowance, I added half an inch. So the next thing I will do is to cut this out. Okay, so I'll take this out. So the next thing I'm going to do is, you see this place, this is where my waistline falls. Okay, so what I will do is to notch my waistline. And then remember, I used um, my boss pan measurement to mark out my that um, intake, okay, which I use the 4.5 inches here. So what I will do is to remove my dress pattern and this is, I will retrace this line. Okay. And then my upper chest line, I have eight inches. So I'll be marking out eight inches. All right. And from my shoulder to my hip, I'll be marking out 25 inches. So from here, I'll use my bust pan measurement, 8 inches plus half inch seam allowance, which is 4.5. So from the hip, I came up by 2 inches. Now I will take out 1 inch. For my that i'll be coming down by one inch from the upper chest line so what i will do is to connect all these lines so i'll connect from here to here and then from here okay So what I have here, what I will do is to flip this over and do the same thing I have here on the other side. So as you can see, what I have here, I did the same thing on this other side. The next thing I will be doing is to cut out the front bodies, okay? So for my front, I've already folded my fabric and again, I folded into two, okay? So the next thing I'll do, you need to pay good attention to this. So the next I'll be doing is to turn my pattern paper this way, okay? Meaning that this is where the armhole is, okay? And this is the neckline, okay? So this part is the um, your side seam and this is the front, okay? So what I will do is to trace out all what I have here. But before that, I'm going to determine how I want my waterfall, the length I want it. So I'm going to be marking out 15 inches, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and connect this line. To my neck depth which is the front neck depth okay the next thing i'll be doing is to add my shoulder seam allowance which is half an inch and then i'll connect okay so this line i have here i'm going to have to connect down to this point okay from this line i'm going to have to connect from here down to this point okay
so now because i don't want this to be in a straight form but you can actually leave your own in a straight form but i want to make this a little bit stylish okay go ahead and measure what you have here which is from this line to the hem i have 36 inches now divide 36 inches by two and okay this is the middle of this line what i will do is to come out by 1.5 inches and then using this curved ruler i'm going to connect from that line to the top and again to the bottom you can see that this actually gave this a little bit of another kind of shape okay So now what I will do is to start cutting out what I have. And to cut out, I'm going to have to start from here. Okay, from the armhole, I will cut this out. And I'll feel mm -hmm. This is what we have. You can see how beautiful it is looking. Okay. So now I don't want this hem to look very funny here. I don't like this shape. So what I'm going to be doing is to come up by two inches. Okay. I'll be coming up by two inches. And, and again, I will see what I have here. I have 12.5 inches. I will divide it by two and then I will slant this a little bit, okay? Okay. So you can see how beautiful it is looking now. So th this is what we have for both the front and the back so what we have here is what we are going to be drafting on the other piece okay exactly what we have here we are going to have to draft this off camera the same thing nothing else so just draft exactly what you have here and i'll come show you how to join these pieces together so i'm done cutting out the second piece okay so you are going to have to join this right side facing each other. You join both the shoulder to shoulder. Okay. I believe you can see what I'm trying to show you. So after joining this one, you have to go ahead and join the other part. Okay. Join the shoulders together and the side seams together for both the um fabric and i'll come show you what next to do please remember before you do that to join your darts okay for the back so this is how you are going to be folding um to be joining your dart once you fold this way then from um your chest line 
you join all the way to the hip and you do the same to the other one and that goes for the other piece okay now i'll finish joining both the back and the front together and you can see i also join my my darts together and the side seam together so the next thing you would want to do is to use your steam iron to give this a good press okay and again i also did the same to this other one the next i'll be doing now is to go straight to my sewing machine but before then what i will do is to make sure that the shoulders to shoulders are um are on each other um that is to say they align um and you are going to have to um use um half inch to join this all round okay that was you are going to have to come to your um come back to the table and turn this outward from the armhole okay i hope you understood what i just explained so let's go to the sewing machine so now i finish um, sewing all this together you can see using half an inch and remember that you are going to do this um right sides facing each other the next thing i'm going to do is to put a notch on all these my seams okay i like doing this it's not a must but for my dress to lay flat i love to do this a lot okay so now the only place that is open right now is just the sleeve opening okay so we are going to have to turn this out from that particular side So this is it the next thing you should do is to give this a good press and after that you'll be using your pins to hold your um, arm holes together in order to go sew it okay so let me just give this a good press and i'll show you the next step so we are done with um the ironing and this is what we've got this is so beautiful and if you had to iron this waterfall okay this is actually the way you are going to do that okay something like this just create whatever you want for yourself okay so i'm not going to teach you how to do that just style it however you want and okay so this is it so going over to the armhole let me show you how you are going to be tucking this in because you are going to have to tuck this in okay so that you can both wear this remember it is is reversible jacket okay so you are expected to wear this way and you can also wear the other side okay so all you have to do is to bring your pin and you are going to have to fold in um let's say with half an inch or 0 0.25 fold in making sure that the shoulders matches together okay you have to do this on this side and do this on the other side and guys um after we must have sewn this this is it for this tutorial okay so i'll go straight to my machine and i will do that and come show you the final look of this dress okay and maybe you should be seeing that on a mannequin guys if this um tutorial has been very helpful to you please subscribe to the channel and share with your family and friends hit the notification bell so as to get notified once i upload a new video thank you guys for watching until my next tutorial bye